Welcome everyone to After Church Tea Time. Uh, this is uh, for the sermon on basically embracing your divinity and living with ease. Um, uh, my name is Soraya and I'm also joined with Nadia and we're going to just get started. Hey, Soraya. So nice to talk to you about this. It's definitely a special topic and a juicy one at that. Um, I wanted to really dive right in to a certain aspect you were talking about when you go into control because you're believing in this illusion and then you have to kind of break that pattern and like stop it again. Mm -hmm. So what I've noticed in my journey is that this is an ongoing pattern, like of noticing the illusion and not realizing that it's illusion, going into control and then realizing, oh, I have to surrender. Mm -hmm. And it's just so funny because you realize that God knows you so well, that God knows that for the like umpteenth time, this is how much you are going to control. This is the reason why you're controlling. And this is the number of times you need to do this pattern for it to be finally surrendered and grounded you know mm -hmm. and it's really funny and I keep going through it but I wanted to talk to you about it and like what gets you through to grounding that you know this is a pattern and I don't want to repeat this pattern and like moving on to that next vibration yeah, I feel like with the teachings, I feel like this is why Jeff and Shlia teach so much about persistence, because like that's really what it takes. And if there's one thing I've learned in my experience is that there's no way of getting around the journey. Like I look back and, you know, you look at it from your perspective right now and you could have told yourself like, just like, oh, this is what it is at the very beginning. And part of us thinks that if we just knew, then we wouldn't have to go on the journey. We could just like, oh, oh, harmonious twin flame union. And then boom, we're in harmonious union. And it's that simple. It is that simple, but we have to go on a journey to make that very simple choice. And there's just no getting around it. So I feel like, I don't know. I feel like for me, it's been so much about like just having compassion for myself. Like, you know, I, I know right now, and, and this has been a big thing recently, actually, I had this actually come up in a coaching session with my coach where I was like, you know, um, just feeling kind of bad about like just what I was becoming aware of in my consciousness, just feeling like, man, like this is some deep stuff. And like, what a journey, <laughs> just feeling kind of some feelings about it. Um, but I realized I was like, every day I do the best that I can. And I choose love to the, to the best degree that I can based on my awareness at the time. And, um, you know, I, I know that I couldn't do more because I'm choosing love and that's the most ultimate thing you can possibly do. So like, even if things don't look different on the outside, and even if it seems like it's this long drawn out journey, you're with God every day, a little bit more, you know, like you're moving forward. And I guess like that to me is like the big important thing. And when you make it about that, you know, there's less judgment <laughs> and there's less expectation that you should get it right the first time. And it's okay if you go around that mountain a few million times, every single time it's gonna be a little bit different. Every time you're gonna learn something new. And uh, yeah, I feel like this is why like Twin Flame Ascension School is so important too, you know? Like, I don't know, I don't know about you, but like for me, I've got to watch those classes over and over and over because every single time you get something new from them and it just reminds you that you're not alone. You're not crazy. This is what it's supposed to be this way. It's okay. And you're doing it right. <laughs> so that can help. Yeah. I, I love that getting closer to God every time with like learning it and watching tea fast is so important because yeah, it will be a lifelong thing, you know, to yeah. grab into all that has been said and all that is like that you can elaborate in your own journey because everyone's journey is so unique that like even the students that have given us so many examples cannot fully describe our own journey right. so it is, it is very beautiful yeah and I'm sure you've experienced too like your journey is just priceless for you it's so precious it's so divine for you it's like it's really your love story with God, like, you know, getting to know God in your way, having your experience of God and 
coming to your clarity. Like it's, it's nothing like when you own it for yourself and it's yours and you feel inspired by other people's journeys, but there's nothing like walking your path, you know? Truly, truly. Because if I did not experience it the way I did for myself, how could I have known about Twin Flames? How could I truly have been able to, you know, explain to my heart, like, this is true? Because who else could I explain this to aside from our community and like the teachings that have been established? How could I relate that? So definitely, definitely. Yeah. I have some juicy notes because you have said so much and it's like so much to unpack. I love how you said that God is hyper efficient, mm -hmm. more efficient than we could even know because like we could not plan this life out any better than God had planned mm -hmm. it out for us. And that leads me into surrendering because <sighs> we must surrender. There's like, there's a whole entwining of life purpose within our twin flame and our twin flame journey. So like our life cannot just be, okay, let's focus on the mirror exercise so we can get our um, harmonious twin flame union. We have so much other complex aspects of our life that we have to learn about and surrender. And it also relates back to our twin flame journey. Yeah. So it, it's very beautiful when it comes to that. Yeah, God is so cool. I love how God just like, like you were mentioning before, God knows everything in advance, like what it's going to take, you know, and like all the intricacies of our journey. And yeah. it really is kind of like a work of art, you know, creation and, and ascension. It's, it's so beautiful. And it's so there's so many depth, like there's all this depth to it. And there's intricacies and, and, you know, it's, it's energy. So it's always moving and evolving. And, I just, I don't know. It's just something about the glory of God. You know, a lot of times people try to like capture the idea of the glory of God, but it's really an unfolding, I feel. And we get to experience it every day as we consciously go on this path. It's like, you just kind of get to know how cool God is and how like infinitely intelligent and wise and beautiful God is. And, you know, God in us, God through us and God in and through our lives, you know, it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you mentioned that, like, it is truly a work of art. Like, we're all unique masterpieces of God. Yeah. Has there been a moment that you've had, like, a favorite piece within that intricate piece of art that you've noticed, like, in a deeper sense, like, God, this is you to me? Oh, I don't know. I feel like that's always evolving. I feel like, I feel like my favorite part is whatever part I'm experiencing right now, you know, cause it's always like, it's always like the next thing. Right. So it's like, it's like a revelation. I heard a pastor talk about this a long time ago where they were talking about how, um, in the book of revelation, I think it was like the angels that were singing, holy, holy, holy to God. And this pastor was sharing how every time that they say holy, it's a revelation of God's holiness. So it's like the first time they say holy is different than the second time they say holy. And that always like really stuck with me. And I kind of feel like that with my own journey, I guess, is like every time I relate to God, it's it's more intimate and it's it's present and it's this moment with God. And so it's like, um, you know, that's my favorite because that's like the juicy one. That's the one that like I can remember the other times I was with God, but like this is the one where I'm with God now. And I, I feel like, you know, that that was one of the things like in the sermon I really wanted to share was like you know, the perfection is happening. It's like, it's already going on, like just like tapping into it. And that's been a big lesson for me. Like this is, this sermon for me um, is something that I'm still healing around. It's like, just like, you know, a process, but I was just kind of sharing like my piece of like where I was at, you know, at the time of, of sharing it. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. The juicy thing is the thing that's happening. It's like with your twin flame, you might have wonderful memories with your twin flame, but there's nothing like this moment. Even, even if you're experiencing the illusion of separation, I mean, this is the juicy thing that's in front of you, you know? Yeah, I really love that. And one characteristic I love about God is that his jokes and his humor is always evolving. 
Like mm -hmm. I get to know God in a new sense through humor and like getting to know how funny God is. And that's yeah. something that I guess I really value humor. So <laughs> yeah. That's and that's cool. Like God is really speaking to you the way that feels good for you. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is really nice. How do you and, like to enjoy God? Like when you're walking with God and doing your inner work, like what's your favorite way of relating? Um, inner childhood, definitely like reparenting. I love the way God reparents because mm -hmm. it's like you become reborn again over mm -hmm. and over again. And it's just so beautiful. And you can take it as so pure and innocent that it's just like, wow. You not only get to experience it, but you look forward to, you know, sharing that and then sharing that with your future kids as well. Yeah. And it's just like, it's so beautiful. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're like unlocking parts of yourself. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. Yeah. And I'm always reminded by what Shali has said in her workshop in Sedona about I am divine. Mm -hmm. Just that affirmation is so profound because it shifts who you are and it's just like your perspective of like if I'm divine of course I will have my divine counterpart of course I will be with the person that God has gifted to me yeah so it's just yeah what was your experience I'm kind of curious because I feel like we've all had different experiences in terms of what we were taught about who we are in relation to life or in relation to God when you were growing up, were you really taught this foundation of you being divine or is this something that's been a journey for you? Oh, definitely a journey for me. Like this has been a newfound knowledge mm -hmm. because although I had that purposefulness that was like, okay, God created me. So God created me for a purpose. So now what is my purpose? And I didn't really understand the foundational divinity between that. Like mm -hmm. God created you and your existence alone sees God as a certain reflection. And mm -hmm. only you can see God in that reflection. Yeah. And it just made me feel so seen and so like loved. Like mm -hmm. you were explaining, like you are so loved. And like you get to understand that over and over again, deeper mm -hmm. and deeper. And at one point, um, I was having a conversation with God and was, and God was like, how can I be without you? And how could you be without me? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, whoa, like, and you can take that even deeper. It's like, how can I be without my twin flame? And how can my twin flame be without me? You know, that flame of what we were created with was the only flame that we were created, you know? Yeah. So it's just like, whoa, you made a whole unique flame just to create us. Mm -hmm. And to say that we can rest and we can relax in our joy and we're already sharing that love, we're already being purposeful is, is magnetic to me because one of my core values is like life purpose. And I've always been just like life purpose. And so knowing that in this age where everyone's like hustle, bustle and like everything, we can actually surrender to God's perfection. And we can surrender knowing that God works through us. Like literally our mirror exercises, God is working through us. God is feeling our feelings for us. And we're doing it too. That's how one we are. So yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so juicy. And that's so much similar to like what I was talking to God about earlier today as well is like, I was just talking to God about like partnership and what it really means to love someone. And it's about being with someone and, and God was just sharing like what it means to be a lover, you know, and that, you know, we're with God in our feelings. We're with God in our lives and it's safe to really open our heart to that partnership and like really, I don't know, just enjoy life that way. It's 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 very romantic. Life, we're not we're not alone. Shalia talked about it one time. She said, um, you know, she was referring to a time in the past. She was like, this was when I believed in loneliness. 
because loneliness is just something that sometimes we believe in, but it's not real, you know? Mm -hmm. And she moved past that belief and doesn't experience it anymore. And so we really share everything with God and it's, it's just cool. It's like really opening our heart to something. It's like a gift that we get to open. That's always been there, but we like become aware of it on this journey, you know? And we continue to like reap the benefits of that gift. Yeah. Um, it's deeper and deeper. And I want to ask that same question to you too. Like, mm. how did that foundational um, truth become solidified to you that you are divine? And what does that mean to you? I feel like it's just this work and it's an ongoing thing for me. Like I'm always going deeper in it. It's been a big part of my journey um, to discover this about like, you know, who am I and what is the right way to be with myself and, um, you know, how I deserve to be treated and things like that. And uh, I feel like without Jeff and Shalia, <laughs> oh God, I can't even imagine. <laughs> I can't even imagine to not have their teaching. Like I, it's been such a blessing to, you know, learn from those who have like already, you know, walked this path and who, you know, are serving us in such this, like this amazing way of like teaching us what they've discovered. And Jeff and Shalia really paved the way. I mean, they, you know, they did all this and like, they know what they're talking about. And there have been times where they've said things and I'm like, I do not see it at all, but I know them well enough to know that this is true. And it resonates in my heart. And the more that I walk the journey and I love myself and I, and I, you know, grow in my relationship with God, the more I've realized like, oh yeah, like I am divine. Oh yeah. This is what it means. And everything they said was true. You know, it's always true. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, I, I feel like it's just a journey you know, I feel like that's, is that not like a uh, God realization is just like when it just dawns on us and we're like, oh, I'm divine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it now <laughs> completely. You know, it's like, that's, you know, that's when we're fully ascended really, isn't it? Cause it's kind of until then we're still healing upsets and things that cloud our judgment. So um, yeah, it's, it's an ongoing thing. It's been a big theme throughout my journey. I feel like, uh, you know, I grew up around a lot of very uh, religious belief systems that were very based on shame and judgment and criticism and things like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's ongoing. Yeah, that self actualization is like, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Like, yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the juice of life. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's what it's all about. I mean, yeah, I don't know what I was doing before this work. I know. I really don't either. And it's funny because I was actually thinking about this too. Like I was asking God, like, what if Jeff and Shalia came in the 60s? You know, why did they come right now? You know? Yes. And, <laughs> yeah. Right. And I was just like, how have we come this far that we can like open ourselves up to the teachings of union? to yeah. Julia's um, methodology, like how we must have broken something within our heart to be open to that much unconditional divine love. Oh, yeah. And God was like, yeah, you did. Don't yeah. think you didn't, because you did. Like, and yeah. I was like, wow, like you said in the sermon, we're not stupid. Like, <laughs> we're not stupid. And we, we have a lot of intelligent creation. Yeah. Like our creator is highly intelligent and we have a lot of, a lot of intelligence. So it's really beautiful to see God's masterpiece, not masterpiece unfolding. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like in the sermon as well of like, just how simple it is, you know, like how reality is so simple and ego is so freaking complicated Ego is just like a mess unto itself. Like it's, it's, it's so like, it tries to be so confusing and just messy that you don't see what makes so much sense and is right in front of you. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like the one big distraction basically. And uh, it's just so, it's so interesting. Like as you heal, how simple everything is. It's just like, oh, I'm with God. Everything's okay. I'm divine. I can just be myself and, you know, love and that's natural for me and everything feels good and hell isn't real. And, I love how in Twin Flame Ascension School, Jeff and Schley are always using divine logic because it's like, you know, ego just doesn't make sense. And yeah, you're right. Like, even though it's been such a journey to get to this point where we're ready for this teaching, 
it's kind of interesting too how like simple it's always been and how it's always been right in our face like our whole <laughs> our whole life because like God has been everywhere right in front of us you know yeah you just find like a new deeper meaning to what you've seen and yeah. sometimes it really clicks yeah um, I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So um, in terms of surrender, what do you feel helps you on your journey to kind of like recognize when you're like kind of in that control state and like remind you to kind of go back into surrender? What's that like for you? I love to ask myself, am I grounded? Like, oh, am, I grounded? And am I grounded? Because in my peace, I can really get clarity on like what is happening and then I can recognize, have I been surrendering or have I been controlled? Mm. And that's really been ha helping me. And like, I'm still a newbie. And like, of course, the practice, like you said, doesn't even start until we get into <laughs> harmonious. Unity. And I'm like, wow, I'm a newbie on being a newbie. And <laughs> it's okay. It's really yeah. okay because... I get to hear such juicy insight from you guys that have been like grounding this teaching. And I'm just like, this is really beautiful. And it like propels me into another vibration, into another vibration. Just when I think like, now it's gonna get boring, you know? It never does, it never gets boring. No, don't be waiting for that. That's not coming. <laughs> It never does. I even thought like, oh, my twin flame union will get boring eventually. Oh, oh no, no. No, <laughs> no it's not now. Because how can it, you know? How can it, it is? But you're not boring. Yeah. Like there's no way. No. Yeah. It's true. There's depths in all of us that we could not even imagine feelings and belief systems and all kinds of things. Our consciousness is so deep, you know, we're really, um, Jeff and Shelley have talked about this in TFAS, how we're like, we're a lot greater than we realize many times. And so we do this inner work and we're like, whoa, like there's so much going on. Wow. So many feelings. It's really unbelievable how many feelings we've been like carrying around with us <laughs> and how much needs to be released. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really extraordinary. Yeah. It's just like, God created us very, very deep mm -hmm. and like there's multiple layers to it. And I remember what I was going to say, like heaven has a solution, you know, mm -hmm. earth may have the problems, but heaven always has those solutions. That mm -hmm. was a thing that I um, remember. So we're here grounding heaven on earth. So mm -hmm. of course there will be that solution right in front of us while we are working through our challenges. Yeah. And so, that's what makes it so simple. It's like yeah. Kevin so is already supported. Yeah, very supportive. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm going to check and see if we have any comments just to kind of add in here. Oh, Brianne said hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's our comment. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, it's, um, I feel like really it's just realizing that we're loved, you know, like we're not just like, floating around, got to figure things out, got to do things, got to, got to have control. I mean, we have to do things, of course, like that's natural, but like do things to control, to, to make things different. Um, you know, what makes the difference is really love and that we're so loved by God that everything's actually all right. And that we can just surrender and that we can, you know, trust the process and, and receive love, receive love from our gurus, receive love from Jeff and Shalia. They're here to love us. And, you know, it's safe to receive that, you know, like really letting everything sink in. And yeah, like that's the difference between heaven and hell. It's that we're loved and that we have God and that that's real. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful thing we're waking up to. Beautiful. Yeah. The thing about surrendering is that like, it's just, it moves you leaps and bounds more than control could could have ever yeah and it would have been such a draining energy you would have felt that draining energy just to reach that goal that you're trying to attain mm -hmm. where surrender somehow god moves mountains for you and mm -hmm. it's just you get to experience that divinity and you get to experience god's like miracle yeah you're surrendering to that miracle and it's really beautiful to yeah. recognize that like you can open yourself up to miracles every day mm -hmm. miracles every day love it yeah 
It's so true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's the cool thing about this teaching. Like I remember in my relationship with God, before I found this work, um, miracles were not an everyday thing, you know, like, I mean, I I'd seen some over the years and, you know, different things, but, um, it's like a way of life with the teachings of union. Cause it's just the, the way that Jeff and Shalia teach it. I mean, they basically like cracked the code on twin flames and how the law of attraction works with twin flames and, it, it's just so fast having like your twin flame mirroring you and bringing everything up that you wouldn't see otherwise. Like it's just so fast. The feedback is so fast. And in this community, you know, like when you're, you know, surrounded by people who are also doing this work, you're also being sharpened all the time and things are constantly being brought up of just, you know, your awareness, you know, is always expanding. And so it's, uh, yeah, miracles become normal because, you're, you know, you're going the fast track. <laughs> it's kind of, it's fun. It's engaging. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. I would want like everyone. And of course that's what we're working towards. That everyone gets to experience such a beautiful life. Yes. It definitely has our challenges, but it shows us how strong we are. Like yeah. it shows us how persistent and resilient we can be. And also, you know, let's keep in mind, ego has its challenges too. And these challenges are far, far preferable to ego's challenges. You know, the, the challenges that come with believing in ego, it's just suffering. It's hell. You know, it's, it's believing that you're separate from your good. It's, it's all of the fear that comes with that. And it's just, it's a hellish way to live. And, you know, yeah, these, these challenges, like the challenge of walking through hell so you can get out. <laughs> much much preferable to um the challenges of being stuck in a hell cycle you know yeah definitely yeah. and like maybe we were meant to experience those cycles of hell so that we can remember like hey don't go back there you don't <laughs> yeah. i rather move forward through hell than yeah. like having to go through the cycles yeah. and we also get experiences in our everyday life of that like we see people going through that cycle and we can hold compassion for them and we can hold compassion for ourselves that what our choices are and our choices love. Yeah. It's just part of the process of getting clear, you know, Jeff and Shalia have taught in TFAS that, you know, so much of the journey, the great majority of the journey is just coming to clarity. And then once you're clear, you can make a decision pretty easily. It's just about becoming clear. And so yeah, you know, like we've made our choices. At some point, we chose to believe in this illusion of separation. And, you know, yeah, we're experiencing it to the degree that we still believe in that. And we still, you know, hold that in our consciousness. And, you know, every time that we go around that mountain, we're learning and we're getting more clear. And it's just, we're walking our way out. And, you know, they talk about it also in LPC, uh, Life Purpose Class, about like the vortexes and how you kind of have to come out of a vortex to go into the next vortex. And so, yeah, it, you know, even though ego itself is kind of meaningless because it's it doesn't exist, um, the journey God is with us every step of the way, and and that is like, you know, everything has purpose and meaning as we walk with God. You know, everything serves our choice in in walking with God. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's nice to just appreciate the journey, and it also kind of takes the pressure off. There's nowhere better to be than where you are. You know. Exactly. And you get so much support. You don't even realize where the support comes from or mm -hmm. how you will be supported. But once you make that choice, you get that support because you're choosing God. You're choosing God fully. Yeah. And it reminds me of how eternal we are. Mm -hmm. How eternal, like these challenges may seem like this is going to last forever, but like in terms of our eternity, this is like a blimp. This is like nothing. Oh, for sure. So it's just beautiful to recognize that like we are eternal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is just like a little journey we went on, a little voyage. <laughs> yeah. Learn some things, get some clear clarity and um, really discover God from, from a perspective and at an angle coming from the illusion of separation. Um, that's actually really beautiful. It's like getting to know God for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, like, you know, it's, it's just, it's got, it's got its gifts, you know, and mm -hmm. it's because we're so loved, you know, we're never, we're never left and illusions were never real. It was just, you know, something we believed in and we're literally just waking up. So no harm, no foul. We're just learning. Yeah. We're just learning. And 
the more we get to know how beautiful God is, we recognize the relationship we hold with God and how beautiful we are. That like we can hold this relationship with God. We can talk to God in this way and we can be understood by God. So it's yeah. just wow. <laughs> I could not even create myself. There was no there would be no <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> Oh man, I, I hardly know myself. I'm gonna agree with myself. <laughs> like how? Yeah. And like you said, the universe is like a thousand steps ahead of us. Mm. So thank God for that. Like thank yeah. you. Because yeah, it's here to catch us every time we fall. Yeah. Yeah. And what is falling really in the grand scheme of things? You know, it's just a it's just a lesson. It's just learning. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like, of course the baby's gonna stumble and like you know yeah. fall when she's walking or he's walking so yeah yeah and the loving parent is just so delighted to see their child grow and try something new and it's just so supportive Ooh. and so that's how God feels about us is like you know you know God sees and is with us every step of the way and God has total compassion and you know of course the miracle says that God doesn't even see ego that ego doesn't even it's not even like a thing that God notices and so um, all God is just experiencing is just delight in himself and in his creation. And it's safe for us to feel that way about ourselves too, to feel that good about ourselves. And that's part of the journey for all of us is really coming to that awareness. And uh, yeah, we are divine and and we're lovely and there's nothing wrong with us. And, you know, every, every twist and turn on the journey is completely understandable and perfect in its own way. And yeah, just very blessed. And we get to chill and be divine and walk the path. And it's got its challenges. It's not, you know, something to like check out on. Obviously, we have to show up and choose love and decide what we want. And that's a, and that's a gift and a privilege to be able to do that. Um, but we don't have to suffer. We don't have to struggle. Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah. Good to have fun. Go home and have fun. Yeah, All definitely. the way there. We get to chill. We definitely mm -hmm fun like in the most peaceful and joyful way yeah and sustainable way yes absolutely <laughs> with the support that's needed to do it Don't, like people trying to do it without support I can't even mm. I've been there that was rough that was not fun um yeah definitely like having the support of the teachings having Jeff and Shalia's support having the community the church of union um makes all the difference in the world I'm just you know, we're not alone. Like you were sharing, you know, everywhere you look, you've got, you know, different people sharing their journeys and, you know, here to encourage and um, we're in this together, you know. We are one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think great closing point. Do you yeah. have anything to say? No, I was just about to say it feels about complete. Yeah. It feels good. You feel complete? Good. All right. Okay. Awesome. Thank you everyone for joining us for After Church Tea Time. I hope you enjoyed and uh, we will see you next week. All right, bye. bye.